What's going on everybody? Hope you're first off having a great day. But we are going to be talking about something rather important. We're going to be talking about finally the game that I know a lot of people that as a Marvel fan wanted to play. And finally I was able to play it myself. Which again, I'm very happy that I was able to uh, do the Xbox Pass. We are finally going to be talking about, of course, Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy. Now again, I know a lot of people, including myself, you know, they wanted to you know they're like oh man this is gonna be the best game ever you know this is this is gonna be better than spider-man it's gonna be better than marvel's avengers and all this other kind of stuff again let me tell you guys something was this game on my first off say this was not as bad as good as spider-man i'm just gonna go ahead and get that out the way if it was for you okay great but it was not for me so again if you have a problem with that i don't know what to tell you again i'm not the biggest guardians of the galaxy fan i don't know a lot about guardians of the galaxy again i am you know a normal fan when it comes to that i'm more into spider-man iron man you know things of that nature right so again was this better than avengers hell yeah this was 10 times better than avengers this this the game made Avengers look more like a B or an F listed game because that's how horrible Marvel's Avengers is. But I will say I did enjoy the game. I enjoyed seeing the characters. I enjoyed playing as Star, you know, Star Wars, seeing more about his backstory, this version of his backstory, and how. Grimoire killed her sister and learned more about Drax's family and then also, you know, different versions of seeing, you know, Star Lord group, Drax, uh, Gamora and all them and Rocket and just having to go up against this armada of this church that is influencing everybody trying to make sure everyone is kind of indoctrinated into this thing called the promise to where if you accept it then you know you whatever you're wanting will still be there and it kind of kind of makes me go like hmm you know what exactly are they trying to do here in the game and then it's shown that hey you know they are using all them just to take over the universe to where everyone's indoctrinated to where everyone's going to be doing what the almost like what the grave mind tells them to do in this girl that you meet Nikki who you think is your daughter because of another relationship that you had you are going to try to save her and you go through this storyline of just trying to <clears throat> help everybody of trying to not only fight you know this armada but go up against you know you can go up against Fang Fang Foom in this you go up against um, a few other characters in here there is really there's mention of the Avengers but there's no okay let's do this like there, there's really no reason why that because they they mentioned the Avengers like hey you know can the Avengers help and then it's like maybe but they don't confirm that there will be and then what's really interesting is you would think like oh hey let's get the Guardians and then they don't because they're like well we gotta fix this ourselves we gotta do this we gotta do that. And it kind of just makes me go, like, what the hell? Like, why, why are they doing this? But again, it makes sense because I think it's a great way to let the Guardians do things on their own. Now, again, the, the combat was good to a certain degree. I was, I was very happy that you could use different means to be able to control your characters meaning like you could say you know you could have group do this you know wrap somebody up or do like a spike attack and have rocket throw a bomb or <clears throat> have Gamora do some type of sword activity or you could do something just just something you could you could have them do anything that you wanted any, same thing with Drax like it just it made the game so much better to where you could go hmm I want this rather than this you know because it made the game more tolerable because at the same time when you have a game that just you don't want to play it gets old after a while and the reason why I say it gets old after a while is because after a certain amount of time you're just like no nah, I don't want to do this no more or oh no nah, I don't want to do this no more or no nah, I don't want to do this or no nah, I don't want to do that it just gets really boring when you have to do the same thing over and over and over again in a game and that's the reason why I know a lot of people prefer not to play Marvel's uh, Avengers anymore because it just th there's really no story the game plays mediocre 
and it just makes it boring. And again, Guardians, there are some funny comments. Again, it's the Guardians of the Galaxy. Uh, there's some customization here, not a whole lot. You can upgrade your weapons. You can, you know, gather new powers when you're going through the story. You can get new skins, you know, if you just got to find them out in the, in the field, I guess you'd say. But again, the main thing I had an issue with in this game was very little open world. Again, this was a very story-based game. I was really hoping that they would do more of an open world, sort of like they did with Spider-Man. Maybe they can learn from this to where, like, hey, you know, we want to do this instead of that. Maybe they can learn from this experience and make the, if they're going to be doing a next game, which, again, there is room for improvement if they are going to be doing another game, which I could see them doing. Because at the very end, there are different... Uh, and I'm assuming anybody's played the game at this point, so there will be spoilers to where, like, hey, this is what I did. The way I had it end was Adam Warlock contained Magnus, and then once this happened, you had to battle him on the ship, and you were able to seal him in the cell in the cell stone. So you, at the end of the game, you have Mantis on the ship, you got you know the uh, Llama Beast on the ship, you got Adam Warlock on the ship, you got Nikki on the ship that has the power of sort of like Adam Warlock now, and of course everybody else. So no one really died. Um, there was a lot of different, you know, choices. Again, I like the choices. I like that, that they gave it the Mass Effect appeal. And the reason why I say the Mass Effect appeal is because Mass Effect is one of my favorite games. But also where if you make a choice and it's going to affect your other choices, like, you know, hey, like this person remembered or, or this character came back to help. Like, for example, you know, Nova Corps, they came back to help during the big fight you had, you know, with Lady Hellbender. So again, there was a lot of different, uh, I would I would assume things that would happen where you couldn't do this or you couldn't do that. So I think that it would affect the game, but again, at the same time, I think it was rather interesting that certain characters would be able to keep going or would not be able to keep going. So I may have to look to see what other things possibly happen to where you could not do this and what would happen if this character did this or this character did that. I don't know. But we got to look into it. What do you guys think about it though? Are you guys what what do you think? Did you guys enjoy Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy the game? Was it okay? Was it better? Again, if you love it, that's great. If you hate it, that's that's your choice. Uh, again, if it's better than you know, Marvel Spider-Man, then okay, great. If it's not, then okay, great. If it's better than Marvel's Avengers, okay, great. You know, we got more Marvel games coming. We got another Spider-Man game coming. We got Wolverine coming. We got a uh, possibly another Guardians of the Galaxy coming, and then some other stuff that they have planned for us. So again, don't know exactly what's going to happen. We're just going to have to wait and see. But what do you guys think about this? Please let me know down in the comments down below. I'm going to try to do some more game reviews. I've uh, been between so busy with work and everything else that's going on so whenever you see this please leave a like subscribe to the channel if you guys are new helps the video helps get this video out there but what are your thoughts let me know and i'll see you on the next one